Fudge's Trend book number six in the Blackwater series by Michael McDowell. This is the last book in the series. And the title of this book was Is Rain. Um, so mainly it, it kind of ends the way that the book started with the flood. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we get to see, you know, the ending of the, the story, not really of the Caskey family because there's still some family members around and everything, but it's, you know, the end of the story. I feel like the main character of the whole series was Eleanor, just because it starts with her and it ends with her and we don't see, you know, what happens to the rest of the Caskey family. We just kind of follow her throughout her life, um, which is something that I really enjoyed, you know, following this one character, even if there's a lot of other characters and a lot of a lot of them could have felt like main characters at certain times uh, but mainly you know for the whole series i think it's fair to say that eleanor was the main character for the series essentially i don't want to spoil anything so i'm gonna stay vague <laughs> with the ending but i really enjoyed it um, i really feel like it's a good ending for a good series actually and and it ends where it all began essentially not really where it all began because the hotel no longer exists where eleanor was found in book number one but it ends with the flood you know just the same thing as from the previous book essentially which is something that i really enjoyed so from the beginning we already know how the story would end uh, because it's kind of spoiled <laughs> to us in the first book, I think, or it could have been like start of second book or something like this, but it was kind of quote unquote spoiled to us, uh, but it was still, I still felt like it was unpredictable, like you couldn't really exactly know how, how it would end. And that's a good thing, you know, that's how I, in my opinion, Mr. McDowell is a really good author because even though he's telling you how the story will end, you still don't really figure it out, you know, and it still felt unpredictable, even though you kind of know parts of the ending, you know, it kind of felt um, really good and, you know, unpredictable. As I said, once again, I think I said unpredictable like five times now. So that's how it felt <laughs> really. I really enjoyed the ending of this book, once again, it's a very sad book, uh, a bit depressing at times, but I really enjoyed it. I think a lot of horror is sad from what I've read in horror, actually, and a lot of different movies. Horror is a lot of time is sad and it deals with grief, death and all these different things. And in here, it's once again, kind of the same thing. And I really enjoyed this series i liked all the characters even the one that i didn't like that i didn't care for i you know somewhere <laughs> i kind of liked them just because of how well they were written and how believable they were and everything yeah so the star story wraps up really good even though it's kind of an open ending uh you you know it's still really good and it's fitting with the tone of the series in my opinion i'm gonna be making another video so one last video for the series where i'll be ranking the books and all of that and just my final thoughts on the series as a whole uh, but that being said <laughs> you know i think it's fair to say that i really enjoyed that and i want to read once again more stuff by michael mcdowell i really enjoy his writing i really like his writing i really like his style even when he's you know going into places that were he's not that familiar i think like in gore and stuff like that i really enjoy him trying and he's still writing you know decent gore in my opinion so once again thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it peace